going on? It's Will Graham, the Gorilla Gamer. Thanks for coming back. This is week number two to the four weeks of Christmas. And I'm going to kind of make this a little different. I'm going to make it kind of a pickup video, plus games that uh, get you in the mood for the holidays and what have you. So let's get started with some pickups, since they're kind of small. First off, I picked these two Nintendo games up off a half Craigslist. He wanted, uh, he had four games, and he wanted to get them in a deal, but I already had them. It was like Donkey Kong, and it was some other games that I had, some other common ones, but these ones I had never heard of. So he sold these to me both for $5 a piece. One is Rockin' Ball. Uh, it's a pinball game. It's a pinball game from uh, NTVIC. I don't, I've, I've never heard of it, and I have yet to play this yet. But um, I looked it up. And uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a, a pinball game, um, kind of like, uh, you know, the Mario pinball one that's on the NES. Um, but, but it's got a bunch of different uh, animations and features and stuff, so I can't really talk too much about it, but I'll get into it and I'll let you know about it. Then second, I got this weird gold cartridge, and it's called The Adventures of Dizzy. Is that what it's called? The Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. All right? And uh, it's by Cam America and Codemasters. And um, from what I remember of it, I played this a long time ago, and you're just like this egg guy, and you walk around, but the animation is such to where you walk slow, and there's an animation to turn around and walk slow the other direction. So, I, I, again, I need to spend a little more time with this game, so I don't want to give it a busted, busted review, because it might be pretty good. I, I don't know. And uh, I got these both, like I said, for $5 off the cute off prices. I found this at a pawn shop, and this I got this for three dollars, and it's uh, the Dreamcast, and it is Shadow Man. Um, I don't know, looks kind of like a third-person type of a game. I uh, really don't know much about it yet. It's got something to do with a voodoo. Well, that can't be too bad. I love the voodoo you do. Um, I found this Friday. Um, at a Goodwill for three dollars and ninety-eight cents. I'm a big fan of this series. Um, right from the PS2, uh, Victorious Boxers, and this is Victorious Boxers Revolution. Um, I love the, the. I haven't watched the anime yet. Uh, it was just that was just clued in that there's an anime on this. But uh, great game. Highly recommend it. Don't look at it and go, oh, it's a boxing game. No, it's a boxing game slash RPG. There's a lot more elements. Or you can just box your buddy on it. It does have that option. But a great game. I highly recommend it. Victorious Boxers Evolution. A good week. I'm going to pick this up for $2.99. And because I didn't have a complete copy. And I like this game. <laughs> I really do. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. I picked this up at a Salvation Army. Same place. I got this just just because I have fun playing these games, and that is NBA Street Volume Two. I know it's it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I I am hardly your basketball type of guy, but this game is fun. I really enjoy it, um, and I, I think I have it on PlayStation Two. So it's the Xbox version, and for a couple bucks, I figured why not. And I picked up some new stuff on Friday. I picked up Super Mario Maker 3DS. You know what's really funny about this? I'm going to see if I can zoom it up where you can see it. It says Super Mario 3DS and underneath it says plays in 2DS. I don't know. I, I just thought that was obviously very contradictory on the cover. It's like, really? You're going to say it's 3DS but it's only playable in 2D? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, from what I've played of it so far, it's typical. you got to unlock everything and it's fun. It's a fun Mario game, believe it or not. And I picked this up, which kind of mixes the worlds of Final Fantasy and Pokemon. And so far, I'm really digging it. The world of Final Fantasy. Very cool. Um, and if you're kind of put off by the cutesy art style, you can change between a small, cute, uh, little in, they're called. A cute little form up to, uh, they're called giants, up to your, which is a normal form. But anyway, very cool. I'm really digging it, and I can't wait to see what else to get into in this game. Then when I was at Target, uh, I picked this up for nine bucks on clearance, or nine ninety nine on clearance anyway. And it's uh, Dragon's Age Inquisition. It was uh, highly recommended to me by uh, someone that you know that I, I, I thought pretty highly of the recommendations. So I went ahead and picked it up, and uh, so far I'm about four hours into it. I love it. I think it's great. Um, you know, there's a few little hiccups here and there, but other than that, I love it, and uh, can't wait to play through it. 
going to pick these up. Um, I picked up a Nintendo satellite with the uh, controller here. And what this does is you put batteries or it's got a control or no, you just put batteries in it and uh, you hook four controllers up to it and this part here plugs into the front of your Nintendo. So it's kind of like wireless but four people wireless. So I picked this up for, I think it was about five dollars at a pawn shop, I believe. I got this a few weeks ago. But at that same pawn shop, I picked this big old joker up too. I found this big guy, and this is a, uh, it's a PlayStation 2 multi-adapter. Basically what you do is you plug this in, and it allows you to plug four people in, or five people into it, and each person can have their memory cards, maybe for like Madden, or I don't know, maybe some sort of party game or something. But I picked it up for five, uh, 226 The sticker's still on it. And, uh, I don't know, I've just never seen one, so I thought this might be kind of cool to add to the game room. <laughs> don't know, let's we'll give it a shot. Um, uh, I also picked this up, too. Um, I picked up a fire stick. I found this guy on Craigslist, I don't know, I bought it for, uh, 25 bucks. And, uh, a jailbroken fire stick where I can access anything. Any movies, I just watched, uh, Doctor Strange on this uh, for free, it was dope. <laughs> if, uh... Uh, if you don't know much about it, research it. It's pretty cool. You can get a jailbroken fire stick and access anything. Anyway, I know that has not much to do with video games, but sorry. Maybe you can watch some Christmas movies on it. I don't know. Alright, now these are some games, speaking of Christmas, these are some games to get you in the holiday spirit. Um, I don't really have any more stories, but I do have a couple of these. But anyway, let's get on to those. I can remember the Christmas of 1996. My mom bought me... 64. I was so stoked. I was uh, 18 years old, 18 or 19, and uh, a buddy of mine had already got one, uh, so I, I knew I wanted one so bad. Um, there was three games that I got for it, uh, but these two remind me of Christmas. Playing it all day. I played these two games all day. Um, one of them being Shadows of Empire. Uh, especially just it, you know, the whole snow level of Hoth and Every time I pop this game in, especially around the holidays, it just brings back waves of nostalgia. I mean, being Kyle Katarn and trudging through the, the ice and the snow caves and taking a dub, you know, getting a, a snow speeder and wrapping the legs up on a at at One of the best games. It definitely brings you back to the Christmas spirit. Definitely. And then for that system, another game I got that day was Super Mario 64. Wow. I mean, seriously, even the fire levels, everything on this game, especially when you go and help the little snowman and all that stuff, every level reminds me of Christmas. Just sitting Indian style in front of my boob tube, rocking out to my Nintendo 64. One of the best Christmases I've ever had. Not one of my favorite systems, but back then it was. And uh, love these two titles, Shadows of Empire and Super Mario 64. Great Christmas titles. Another great Christmas title, and this one I got a little story about. I remember getting this back when I was a kid, Clockwork Knight for the Sega Saturn. And uh, Clockwork Knight is a really great game. You're a little toy, you're in this misfit toy world type of thing, and it kind of has Christmas overtones, and it's just a very bright and colorful game. But uh, I remember, again, this was one that nobody could find because where I come from in Florida, Nobody had a Sega Saturn. Not many places had them, and if they did, they weren't cheap. So my dad ended up ordering this for me online from a Japanese reseller, and I got it two weeks after Christmas. So I didn't really get to experience Christmas with this game, but I did get to get a Virtual Cop and a Virtual Fighter 2 that Christmas, so I did get more than made up for it. But Clockwork Night, when I did get it, man, I wish I could have gone back and experienced it during Christmas, but that's all right. I get to do it now. But Clockwork Night, great game. Highly recommend it for this season. It's perfect. And another one that's perfect for this this uh, season, especially if you have family coming down, is Pen Pen Try Isolon for the Dreamcast. Now, it's a bunch of party games, right? It's a bunch of really fun party games, but it's on the Sega Dreamcast. And uh, very colorful, very likable characters, very fun. If you have a bunch of family members getting involved, it's four times the fun, trust me. But Pen Pen tries a lot. 
And then these two games here for the GameCube. First off is Animal Crossing. Now, Animal Crossing, you'd think, why? That is not really Christmas. Well, the whole month of December, your village is Christmas-related. All the parties, Secret Santa, you can give gifts, you get to decorate, everything. It is amazing. And there's a little Christmas parade, all sorts of stuff in this game. For the whole month of December, this game is a must if you want to get the holiday spirit. And then next, just because it has to do with ice and snow, and I used to love playing it all the time, and that is SSX. SSX Tricky more than any other one. I like all of them, but Tricky was the one that I played around Christmas time. And uh, it just brings back those memories of powder snow ripping and shredding through the snow that I have never done in my life. But I, I did snow ski. I snow skied once and went down a hill and fell and couldn't get back up. Anybody who tells you you can get back up on, on snow skis just like that, they're lying to you. It is impossible. Ugh, I hated snow skiing. For those that are good at it, ugh, good on you, but for me, it was a nightmare. I would get going and skiing and then fall, and uh, there was no way to get up, dude. Your ankles are not that strong, and then you're trying to push up and your legs are sliding. Uh, turn the back fucking nightmares, all right? Anyway, that's uh, week number two. Uh, we'll see you at week three on the way to Christmas. Thanks for joining me. I'm Will. We'll see you guys next time. Late.